If you were watching the market, stocks on Thursday traded in a choppy fashion while investors nervously monitored rising coronavirus cases in major regions throughout the country. At the same time, a report showed new weekly unemployment insurance claims were worse than expected. Unemployment levels are down just slightly from the previous week. The choppy trading saw the S&P 500 and Dow snap a three-day winning streak, while big tech shares on the Nasdaq continued to climb and added to their run of outperformance. New York City, which is one of the regions that had been under stay-in-place orders the longest, indicated it would move ahead with the next phase of its reopening process next week. This will allow for outdoor dining and salons to open their doors as the statewide daily infection and death rates fell below 1%. On the left coast, California reported its largest one-day increase in coronavirus cases, not to be left out. Florida also reported a one-day record for coronavirus cases. Other states such as Arizona, Nevada, and Oregon also saw spikes in cases. It seems that some regions are struggling to keep infection rates down with reopenings underway. And with virtually every U.S. state now in various stages of allowing businesses to reopen, new economic data has begun to show the recovery. On Wednesday, there was a batch of economic data showing a strong rebound in the housing market. However, not all markets are equal and some leading economic indicators are slow to respond to the recovery. And that brings me to where I need to remind you that VIX matters. So, let's take a look. And today, we're going to look at two charts, beginning here with the two-year weekly on the VIX. And the symbol is dollar sign VIX on stockcharts.com. Once again, this is the weekly chart here. Looking in the middle portion, you can see that the VIX settled out here in late 2019 and then started moving up in early 2020 with the explosion up to this level here looks like it might have reached uh, say near 85 and then it started calming down to this point here and then last week we had a minor eruption up to about 45 and it's coming down here at least on the weekly chart to this point here around 3294 in the upper portion up here you can see the RSI where the RSI came down here but didn't really go too far below that midline so that's a cautionary flag we're above the midline right now and it can erupt again at any time moving down here in the bottom portion you see the MACD where again the top was at that point there coinciding with the bottom of the market now the MAC fast line did calm down, move through, through the slow line, and it looks like it's trying to level out here in this area above that zero line. Again, there's some strength here, which means that it can erupt. Now, I'm not sure how soon the eruption is going to be. Again, this is the weekly chart, but uh, it can raise its ugly head any time. So let's go take a look at the daily chart and find out what that shows. And now the six-month daily chart on the VIX. And you can see here that the price chart moved from this level here all the way down here, creating a, a very gentle downward trend with the, the bottoming and basing occurring here in this uh, period from, say, early May until early June. And then last week or so, we had the minor eruption, which caused a downfall in the market. But since then, and with a top of about 45, the price chart has been coming down, calming down. So this move here came down to the 200 MA and bounced up right through that 50 MA. But right now, it seems to be settling out right near that 50 MA. It's at a 32.94 level, so that's well above the 20 level where we want to see it go under. I'd like to see it down here in 15, maybe even lower. But right now at 32, it's more than double what we want to see. Looking up here to the RSI, 
It came down below that midline and stayed there for a number of months here, but now had that uh, minor explosion up to this point here last week. And it seems to be settling out, at least for now, still above that zero or midline. Moving down here into the MAC, you can see from that top, it came down here, settled out, and then started moving up toward that zero line. And we had that uh, minor eruption. And now the fast line is still above the slow line with the slow line moving on up to that zero line. So to me, that means be very, very cautious in the market. We may have a downtrend. This is not really all that good. The, the VIX is not good at timing. And maybe my timing's not all that well either. But what I can tell you is from my experience that oftentimes there is a double eruption in the VIX. And I'm looking for that second eruption. And it's going to be more volatile than this recent one last week. So be cautious and be prudent and be patient. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.